In this video, I'm going to show you how to update a Windows 11 computer where CPU and TPM is not supported. So I did a video where I installed Windows 11 where the CPU and TPM was not supported. So I showed how you can bypass that. So this is a computer where the CPU is not supported. So if I'm going to update this computer by the Windows update, it would not update to the latest version of Windows 11. Therefore, I have to use other options. So this is the version right now. I'm going to right click my start menu, go to run, and I'm going to type win VER, click OK. And this has version 21H2. I'm going to click OK. Now I downloaded the PC Health app and you can download that here. I will leave a link in the description of the video. So I'm going to run this PC Health app. I'm going to click on check now. And as you can see, it says this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 requirements. Why? Because the processor isn't supported for Windows 11. And you can click on see all results. Everything else is fine. So I'm going to close this. Now to do this, you would want to have a USB 8 gigs or more. So first of all, you need to download Windows 11 22H2 version. So it's here. You want to scroll all the way down until you see download Windows 11 ISO. Click on this box here. Select Windows 11. Click on download. And you need to select a language. Click confirm. So you want to click on the download here. It's a 64-bit download. So I'm going to click on download. So it's downloading the version 22H2. It's approximately 5 gigs. So the download is completed here. It's in my downloads folder. So this is the ISO I just downloaded. Now I'm going to right click the file. Click on mount. Click open. I'm going to right click the setup.exe file. Run as administrator. I'm going to check this box, click next. So this is the message I get. This PC doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements. The processor isn't supported for this version of Windows. So I'm going to close that so I cannot upgrade it this way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download Rufus. So here is the download section. You want to download the latest version, Rufus 3.20. I already downloaded it, so it's here. So I'm going to right click the exe file, run as administrator, click yes. So it picked up my USB drive. I have a 16 gig USB drive. You can use an 8 gig or more. So I have to select the ISO file. I'm going to click on the select button here. It's on my desktop. So I'm going to click on start. It says customize Windows installation. Remove requirement for 4 gigs of RAM, secure boot and TPM. This has to be checked in order to update this computer. I'm going to leave the other one checked and leave the other three as is. Click OK. Click OK. So this is creating a bootable USB drive with Windows version 22H2 and you can use this USB drive to boot up a computer and install a fresh copy of Windows 11 22H2. So I do not want to install a fresh copy so I just want to update this Windows computer which is version 22H1 to 22H2. So this is going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video. So it was completed, the USB drive was created, and it's here. Now what I would like to do, I'm going to create a folder on the desktop. I'm just going to rename it, and I'm going to copy all of this in this folder. So I can run the Windows from the USB drive, but i rather copy it in a folder. So I'm going to highlight all of this and copy. So it's done copying. This is the folder. 
I copied everything from the USB drive to this folder. So I'm going to right click Setup EXE, Run as Administrator. I'm going to check this box, click Next. I'm going to click Accept. So it's checking for updates. Now this part is important. I want to keep personal files and apps. And you want to click here, change what to keep. If you need to change anything, you can do it. I'm going to choose the first option, keep personal files and apps. And if you choose nothing, everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. And this one is keep personal files only. So I want to keep all my office applications, all my files and folders. So I'm going to click next. Okay, it's getting updates right now. So this will go to 100%. So it says ready to install. So now I'm going to click on the install button here. And it's installing. So this is updating Windows 11 22H1 to Windows 11 22H2 where the CPU is not supported. So this is going to take a while. I am going to pause the video. So it says your PC will start several times. So Windows 11 22H1 was updated to Windows 11 22H2 and all my apps are here, folders. So I'm going to check the version. I'm going to right click start menu, click run, type WinVER, click OK. And it says here the version is 22H2. So the update was successful. So I'm going to run the PC health check. So I'm going to say check now and as you can see it says this PC doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 requirements because the CPU is not supported. So this is how you can bypass this message and you can update the 22H2 update in Windows 11. So I'm going to close this, close this, I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to run the updates on this computer. I'm going to click on settings, click on Windows update, and as you can see the updates are already here. So I'm going to click download and install. So it's updating, it says completed, completed. So the Windows updates are running and i have to restart now so i hope this video was helpful to you i thank you for watching and i thank you for subscribing